Turkish fighter jets have carried out a new barrage of airstrikes against Kurdish rebels in northern Iraq. The Turkish army said Wednesday that the strikes destroyed targets of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, or PKK, in several regions, including its main stronghold in the Kwandil Mountains. The move came amid a dispute over Turkey's troop deployment in northern Iraq. Ankara said Tuesday it had halted the deployment of additional troops near Mosul, but refused to obey Iraq's 48-hour deadline to withdraw those already based there. After the deadline expired on Tuesday night, the Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Dabadi issued a statement saying NATO must use its authority to urge Turkey to withdraw the troops. Haider said he has spoken with NATO's Secretary General John Stolenberg by phone. He called the deployment a violation of Iraq's sovereignty. The United States' envoy to the global coalition said on Wednesday that Turkey's decision is not part of the coalition efforts against the Islamic State. Um, first, importantly, the, the, this Turkish effort is not a part of the coalition effort with Iraq. So Turkey is a member of the coalition, but every country, every every member of the coalition also uh, does things in its uh, what it perceives as its its interests, which are not a part of the coalition framework. So it's important that this particular uh, Turkish deployment is not a part of the coalition. The deployment of Turkish troops is always expected to dominate a working visit to Ankara by Iraqi Kurdistan's President Masoud Barzani. He arrived in Turkey on Wednesday and is scheduled to hold talks with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and the Turkish Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu during his two-day stay.